Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. We are doing some Dreadbloom Cave today and we are going to be beating noobs like this guy for example. DC for choke time, only 1.1 mil medallions, trash record, it's gonna be fun. Remember to like that smash button and subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's hit 69 likes in the first one minute. Nice, okay. So I'm just gonna be going NFE here because we're gonna be very very meta reliant in this game so that's gonna be fun also i kind of want to see if nfe still rely or yeah i, I want to see if i can still rely on nfe because basically there's this new meta and it's gonna be dartling bomb so i want to see if i can beat dartling bomb or dartling glue either one um yeah it's gonna be fun and it doesn't look like my opponent picked a strategy at all which is a good sign that i'll win so farm down and farm here. Reason I always place my farmers down at the bottom is because you don't want to farm up here because this is where you want your balloon trap to be. Um, and he says, oops. He might surrender. He's now crying. Okay, so this is really good. Uh, I have not placed my first tower yet and we already got our opponent crying. So, so far, it's it's a good game. This is kind of psychological warfare. We, sh we should win. I don't know if he actually got to pick a strategy, but... We'll see. There we go. 256 eco, as always. I think we're just going to go passive and a fee here. Depends what he have. If, if he has a strat that can outlast me, or if he goes Dartling, then... He's going Tax Shooter. Okay, this is good for me, because passive Tax Shooter is trash. And he's really angry with me. Understandable. I would be, too. And and now he's face palm. I don't know if he's face palming me or himself, but doesn't matter. I'm going to go for a Sentry Gun here. And... Yeah. We'll be fine against this. I'm not. I'm, I don't know if I want to greed for the plantation yet. Depends on how much he sends. He stops sending, so there's no point in actually upgrading anything. All right, I'll just go for the plantation. He's not going to do anything. Actually, nah. Let's send him a little bit of stuff here. Let's just force um, force his uh, NGO or his uh, upgrade, tech shooter upgrade. He probably is either mortar or spike factory. He could be trying to pull off Spike. I really don't think. I think he just got a random strategy, maybe. He looks really mad for some reason. I don't know what I did to hurt this poor man, but he does not look... <laughs> he looks very upset. Okay, um, yeah, we're going to be fine. The only thing that can kind of hurt me is if he is very aggressive and he goes to try and get me low on lives. It doesn't look like it. He's not farming very well. He's... I don't know, I'm out farming him and he's tag shooter, so that shouldn't really happen. Plus, I'm going NFE, which of course I want to go passive so that I can get up a facility and then rush him like around 20 BFBs. He's going to struggle. He's definitely going to struggle with COMGs, depending on what he has. If he has Wizard, then this is already a one game because Wizard is going to get fully drained against NFE. It simply doesn't stand a chance, so there's no point in going Wizard in this arena. Anyway, I'll just take the farm lead. No problem. I think he's still really mad at me. It's okay. Let's give him a thumbs up. <laughs> Finally. Okay, he's no longer mad at me. Let's give him the hard eyes. I don't know. There we go. And he sends me blacks. That's a good play on his part. I don't want to chase. I'm going to get three NGs down immediately to see if I can avoid chasing. I'm now also going to go on a little bit of a greed here. He stopped sending blacks. He, he should have kept sending in order to get me to chase and then followed up by yellows on round 8. But now I only leaked one life, which I don't think it was worth it for him. He's still farming pretty well, but then again, so am I, and his farms doesn't really matter. He's most likely going to go for BIA, but this is already a one game so far. It doesn't really matter what third tower he has. I've already won this game. There's no way I can possibly lose. So... I don't know. If I were him, I would probably just surrender right now. But I think we have to play the rest of this game out. Uh, so he's going to send me a ton of yellows. Bad move because he's been playing passive most of the game. And now he decides to fuck up his uh, farms and his eco. Or, well, not really his eco, but, you know. You want to eco early on, not late. But, I mean, it did force a boost, which is good for him, I guess. If he has... Oh, he has wizard. So, yeah, this is pretty much an instant win. He should just surrender at this point. I don't know why he's still playing, but... He is, so let's entertain him. He's not even trying to force my Bloom Trap, but here we go. Oh. Okay, easy. Alright, he says well done. I'm going to force the uh, Dragon's Breath in a little bit, but for now we're just going to keep on farming. Round 11, it looks like we're easily going to get around 16 Factory, I think. Maybe round 17, depends. So let's just boost one, or boost this Adam right now. I probably didn't need to boost that, that was kind of a bad play on my part, but 
He's still fine. He's chilling. See, he might get a BIA. I doubt it, though. But if he does, then I should still easily win. Yeah, he's definitely going to get a BIA. I'm not even going to try and prevent it, but it, because it's not worth it. Also, I'm going to keep on selling my sentry so that I get more money in my Bloom Trap. Oh. Oh, I think he's trying to rush me. No, he just boosted at me, but he boosted nothing. He sold his stuff, and then he just... He Bloom boosted nothing. He's not even rushing me. He went for a bank. Uh... I'm wondering, is he going to go for his BIA, or if, is he just going to go for a bank? Oh. Oh, he actually did go for the BIA. Oh, okay, well, that's easy. I think we were just going to all out him at this point. There we go. Mostly because I've already won this game, and I don't really want to go late, so it's easier just to all out him and win. Uh, I'm going to face... Or no, let's just swag on him. There we go. Easy dub. All right, game one over. Uh, see you guys in game two. Okay, we're against our next opponent, minus global 34, prestige 75. That is pretty bad, because you generally want to have your global lower, or uh, higher than your prestige. You want to have your prestige lower than your global. He does have a top 7, though, which is pretty good. I don't know what he's going to go, but he does have the top 10 prestige batch, which is pretty nice. 16 top 100s, he has a decent record. I don't know how good he's going to be. He has 7.3 mil mets, so maybe he doesn't grind a lot. Um... I don't know. He doesn't have a lot of medallions. I'd expect for him to probably have over 10 mil, but... I don't know. He could have silver, gold, and projectiles. You never know. We'll see. We'll see what he has. Anyway, I think I'm just going to spike the end here. Maybe he's going NG as well. Would be fun to have some NG versus NG action. I'm just going to say well done. I don't even know what I'm saying well done to. He's crying for some reason. I don't know why, but... A lot of people, they either cry or give me the hard eyes when I meet them in arenas. So, that's all good and fun. He's gonna start out by rushing. He's going dart for a maze. Okay, so this should actually be a win in my book. Uh, if he goes passive, then he might be able to counter. But if I greed really hard, then I can maybe make sure that he doesn't go passive. We'll see. Should be fine to this. I kind of want him to force a lot of defense on my part. So I'm gonna play really passive myself. And then, you know, we kind of just want to drain him by sending a lot of rushes. That's the good thing about NG is I'm going to get so much mo uh, money late game and end game that I can constantly send him rushes nonstop. As you can see, he's playing pretty aggressive right now, which is good for me, actually, because that's kind of what I want uh, from a DFA player. So him playing a little bit aggro right now is kind of only stopping him from getting more money right now that he could have used for farming. The way to beat NFE when going DFA is just to play fully passive. If he doesn't get a BIA round 14, he's lost this game. Um, it doesn't look like he's going to be going for the BIA. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'll be chasing a little bit here. It's not going to be too bad. I want him to keep on sending, even if I lose a few lives. Okay, he stopped. I'm just going to go for another farm right now. So we're out farming him currently. And hopefully he's going to send me a ton of blacks next round. I'm definitely going to greed and let... Let them go pretty far because uh, before I actually upgrade. So, of course, I'm going to send him a couple blacks. Oh, he's sending me greens. That's nice. And he's blue boosting greens at me. What? Why would you boost blacks at me? Okay, boosting blacks is actually decent if you do it on round 7 and layer with the round 7 AI. But the round 6 AI is too weak, so this is not going to do anything. As you can see, he boosted it and he got nothing out of it. And, yeah, now I'm just a plantation up on him. So, not really the best move for my guy Minus over here, but... Yeah, that's he's definitely playing this wrong, because like, the thing is, DFA is not good early game against NFE, but it really outlasts, so if we go late, then he's gonna win no problem. Um, which is why I don't understand why he's playing this aggressive. He definitely needs to try and get a BIA, at the very least. Um, anyway, of course I want to force the uh, Spolt here. If I can, so we're going to send him a ton of yellows. Or maybe just a few, there we go. Mostly because I don't want him to be able to go for his farm. I do want him to go for his bolt. So, if I can force defense, then that's good. Uh, oh, we're going to boost some yellows at him here. Be very aggressive. And send a few whites up behind. See if we basically can, I don't know, either make him leak a lot or something. Anything I can do to prevent the BIA. So I got around 11 rush him as well. There we go. I'm going to go for my cleansing phone because he's definitely going to send me lefts. Oh, he's actually going to boost some stuff. I actually don't mind wasting a boost here in case he sends me a bunch of stuff. This is only good for me. 
All right, so he does, he's still going. He doesn't have another, he needs another Spolt to defend this. No, he boosted, okay. This is really good because we definitely prevented the BIA. Um, so I'm gonna spike this and I'm just gonna boost this. It's gonna be no problem. We have another lip there. There we go. If he all outs me, that should be an easy defense. He might just sell his farms and just straight up all out. Uh, there we go. Let's send him a little bit of stuff. See if we can force him to boost with this. Uh, or die. Oh, yep. He's just gonna die to uh, the round 13 Seeper Rush. It's really strong because it's boosted and he stood no chance. I don't actually know if he had a boost, but let's say good game and move on. Oh, he said good game too. At least our opponent is being respectful. Unlike me. Okay, next opponent up. We're against Cute Cat Girl with 10k games. Global 209, Prestige 64. That's actually really good. Alright, let's say let's say good luck. And we're gonna go with the same again. I just wanna see how far I can. I still think NFE is probably one of the best strats, but I don't know. There's some like like Dartling Bomb would definitely. I think it Dartling Bomb against NFE would definitely be interesting. Oh, okay, so we got NFE versus NFE to Pierce. Looks like he or she is going to be anti stalling uh, I think... I actually think just going passive NFE is the way to play this. Like, if our opponent is anti stalling then just... Passive should win. So I'm gonna go for this, and uh, I don't want to rush quite yet. Oh, he's not even rushing me. Uh, okay, I guess I'll just go straight for more bananas now. And send a little bit of stuff. And then I'll go for my sentry guns. Actually, never mind. Ignore the sentry guns. I think I'll just go for another Darling. Or NG. There we go. And then we just upgrade. To sentry guns in case he sends me anything. He went for an NG himself. So we both have two 0, zero NGs. I'll put this on last. There we go. And go for the sentry gun here. Nice. Right now, all I want to do is force the sentry gun on his side. Doesn't look like he wants to get it up. I'll keep sending pinks. I don't really mind if he doesn't get a sentry gun up. I don't think that's going to be enough, so I'll keep sending. He's definitely choosing the wrong defense, I'd say, right now. Uh, so yeah, let's boost these. Because he greeted for the plantation. Again, I don't really recommend doing that. I think we're the ones playing aggressive now. Oh, he went for a fourth 0, zero NG. Okay, sure. I'll stop sending now. I think that was worth it, probably. Gave him a little bit of trouble. Leaked down to 108 and forced a ton of defense. I'm not going to send any blacks right now. I think with four 0, zero NGs, you should be able to defend blacks. I'm just going to keep on farming alongside with him. Um, yeah, this is probably going to come down to BFB draining, I think. So it's going to be a lot about money management. I'm definitely going to send a ton of blacks in round 7 to uh, force more defense. And then we just go for a third NG here. And we should be fine, I think. Yeah, he has a little more defense than I do. But I still like my defense. Oh, okay, he's sending a few greens. I'm going to go for a 9-inch nails. Took a few leaks, it's okay. We're chilling against this, though. He's at 99 lives. Uh, we can go for one more plantation, I think. I don't know if he wants to go for a plantation or what he wants to do. He went for another engineer up at the top, which is a little early. He should be prioritizing farming right now. Anyway, I'm gonna go for three nine inch nails. I'm gonna be putting this on first and Okay, that cleans up nicely, so there we go. Now we're just gonna be going for our cleansing foam. And then get up an NG or get up uh the 4 ONG. I'll set a few of these right now. Of course he sends a lot of yellows. Should be fine to these yellows, I think. I can still sell these when I need to. There we go. And then I just spike that, spike that, and no life lost. And then of course I sell my sentries to make sure that I get the most amount of money in my balloon trap. We're out farming right now. He's probably about to get up his plantation, I think. But we have, yeah, we have a one zero farm up on him. So currently he's getting out farmed, which is good for me. Right now I just need to keep on playing passive. He might play aggressive and try and rush me. Who knows? 
I don't want to, I don't want the thing is, I don't want to rush him right now. I don't want to send, like, for example, I could on round 14 at the beginning of round 14, layer in some Cypress followed by a lot of rainbows, but it won't really be worth it because this is such a long round. And now he's just going for unnecessary defense. I haven't sent him anything yet, so he actually doesn't need to go for his, uh, his ninja, but I mean, I'm fine with it. I'm going to wait a little bit here. Let's go, actually, let's go for this farm and then just wait. Round 15, he's probably going to try and see if he can layer in some uh, some stuff and send me some camo lets in order to force the flash bomb. But right now I have a lot of farms, so definitely doing good. He's not sending anything, so I think I'll just keep on farming. And then we're going to go for the Republic in a bit. He might round 16 rush me. This is still a pretty passive game. Yep, he's round 16 rushing. Uh, should be good here. One let got passed. I'm just going to spike that, no problem. And yeah, nice. Just gonna go for the Republic here. We are up a whole plantation on him, so I think I've definitely farmed better. He just lost some more lives, which is definitely not good. I'm 100% gonna send him a Maw, followed by some camo lets next round. And I'm definitely gonna boost it as well. I don't think he's gonna have a good time to that. He's getting really out farmed right now. He needs to get up a plantation. <laughs> uh, so he can go for his. I could also just go for the facility, but I don't know if it would be worth it. Anyway. We're going to send this. I'm going to boost it in uh, like five seconds or so. Like three, two. Well, never mind. Counted wrong. The mob takes 10 seconds to send. I just forgot when I sent it. Anyway, I'm going to go for the factory right now. He is busy defending that. He should be fine. I don't know. Maybe unless he boosts. Will he need a boost? It looks like he's dead. Oh, okay. Never mind. I guess my screen is just fucked up, but apparently he defended that. Fair enough. The thing is, now I have a whole facility on him, and he doesn't really have anything on me. Oh, he's rushing with a mob. Uh, should be good here. I think. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, let's boost that. Just to be safe. Let's sell this now. And I'm going to go for Savo here. And then I'll go for my balloon trap. Just in case he sends me a BFB, which I think he did. I messed up my boost. But that is not perma slowed on his screen. I'm gonna go for valuable bananas here. We should be good. I gotta need or I need to keep on collecting my balloon trap. The only thing that can kind of screw with me or screw with me here is uh if he sends me a BFB and he boosted and I don't get to defend. Otherwise, right now I'm out playing pretty hard, so. This is definitely not a good position for him. Also, round 21 right now, I'm going to get 5.6k from the uh, factory. So I should be more than good with defending a uh, BFB if he sent me one. Also, I'm out farming by a lot. We're going to go for second balloon trap right here because round 22 ceramics are going to be tough to deal with. So two balloon traps is going to ensure that I get all the money that I need. And he just went for a facility. Okay. I'm considering sending him a BFB right here. So this is going to come out in like a second. Actually, I'm just going to boost it at him. There we go. Right now he's sending me lets, which is a little weird. I mean, I got a lot of money from that round, so I'm just going to go for a flash bomb. That kind of just, that kind of helped me more than it uh, hindered me. All right, so I think I'll just do this, sell, go, or, and send him a CMG. I'm not going to boost a CMG at him, but I'm kind of expecting him to send me a CMG. He probably doesn't have enough money, so I don't know why I did that, but... Anyway, I don't want to boost it at him, because if he doesn't get to permaslow the CMG, then... I'll be good. Oh, I think that is permaslow, unfortunately. Anyway, now it's just about CMG draining, so... Should be not too difficult to play around with. I'm just gonna wait slowly right now. We both have roughly around the same money, except I just sent a CMG, so obviously it's a little more. But he should have a lot of trouble defending this. I'm gonna go for another flash bomb here, and then I'm just gonna get ready because I think he's gonna be focused on defending. He's not gonna really gonna be that aggressive right now and try and rush me. I'm actually gonna sell that and sell this as well, so I don't accidentally collect stuff. There we go. Definitely gonna send him another CMG here in a little bit. I want to send him one that's not gonna be perma slowed, like this one is. But I need the money first. Round 25 is coming up. 
If I just get up another balloon trap, then around 25 AI should not be too bad to handle. There we go. Also, I should get 9k from this round easily. I should get more than 9k. I should get like 15k, I think. Yeah, three balloon traps and we can just barely defend. And now we get even more. There we go. That's the first 9k. So I'm going to send him another CMG right now. He's going to tower boost it. Okay. I think he might die to this. There's a lot of stuff on his screen right now. I think he's dead to the CMG. He's going to try and put down a balloon trap. Is he good? Nah, he went down to the CMG. Yeah, that was not going to work. He was way too behind in farms. And then he went for the facility, which is obviously the right move. But it didn't really work out in his favor. Still, Prestige 64, that's impressive. Anyway, GG, that's gonna be it for the video. Remember, like, smash, comment, subscribe. Anyway, do, do whatever you kind of want, I don't really care. Smash that like button harder than I smashed your mom last night, and uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Peace. Life can be super happy, life can be super sad I'm trying super hard to separate the good and bad I go back to my future just to get to my past But knowing me, my DeLorean will probably crash Sometimes I get in a taxi when I ain't got no cash Worry if my credit card don't work, then I might have to